um, there's the, the atmosphere of, of music at the moment means it's easier for people like yourself to experiment and do fresher things maybe than it, than it was, say, I don't know, five years ago. Yeah. It's, I mean, certain things have helped. Um, things like the Orb made it, you know, made it sort of a little bit easier maybe for people like us because we've, you know, we've been sort of working in those areas quite a while and, and you know, people seem to be more open to, uh, to listen to something that's a little bit different. Yeah, I mean, that's just the, the fact that not everything follows its straight ahead, you know, sort of seven inch single format anymore, it's opened it up a lot, that, you know, and that's not to say, you know, picking on either side, but it's, it's opened the whole format up. People, things that we were doing sort of a while ago, you know, a long time ago, are kind of very accepted now. Probably technology's done it, the samplers and things like that, but it's just, you know, the soundscape thing has just opened it, opened it up a little bit, and I think people are slightly more conditioned now to not when they hear a record, not expect to hear some, you know, a vocal in a certain in a certain vein or vocals at all. So yeah, I guess it's it's opened it up a little bit. Yeah. Hands on your head, and let's 
has your audience changed over the years? It's got smaller, I think. <laughs> More selective. Yeah, yeah. A lot of them have died, I think. No, we, no, we're all, we, we started very young. We were very mature ten-year-olds when we started, you see. So, uh, I'd, I don't know. I think, I think the house thing's helped a lot because it's broken down a lot of barriers, whether it's like the, the, you know, the sort of club culture or whatever. Um, it's, it ha does seem to have broken down a lot, a lot of barriers, uh, and it's open, it opens things up. I think hopefully people go in with less preconceived notions. Hopefully it's less sort of territorial, less sort of tribal. And our audience has always have always been re pretty mixed anyway. You know, it's always been a quite a good cross section of people uh, attending the concerts that we've done in the past, and I think that's probably still you know true to you know the time we're in now. Tripping. Oh, that's when a nigga come out with a swole face, you know what I'm saying? He gets tripping, trip, get off my dick, this gangsta crib. West side. Low, 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 low. Like me, no cool, no crazy. What's a wolf ticket? Wolf ticket. It's a lion ass ass. What's a 211? That's a motherfucking rival. What's a 187? Murderer, BK. What's a 207? That's a motherfucking kidnap. What's a bust or a cuff? Snoop, niggas that ain't down by your hood, they punk out when they get confronted. Yo, what's a strap? It's a gun. AK-47, KT, 9mm, 9mm handgun, 4-5. Shit we used from last week. What's hitting up? Go to the bar, strike with spray paint, right?
imagine like years ago that you'd still be kicking your rounds now and like with but you know with a second wind almost I think you know basically we you know we've been doing sort of experimental music now for such a long time it's it, it's kind of you know I don't even think about it I mean basically each time we make a record hopefully it'll be something different and you know I'm sure that that somewhere you know people will pick up on it or they won't as the case may be and you know it's it, that sort of we try not to worry too much about about you know sort of things like that at all yeah, we don't we don't really dwell on it in that way we don't say oh we're trying to achieve this certain thing or it's like this we represent one kind of music that goes away we just it's very eclectic really we, you know and obviously the reason we still do it is because we're still into we're still into music and you know there's there's been periods that have kicked it off like you know like rich said the sort of 87 88 hours thing was a big you know it ha again it kind of keeps you keep things like that keep you going you're still influenced by things and i suppose we'll always be a bit peculiar or a bit left field and it's but it's, we're always kind of like an interpretation of what's going on so you know? when, when something like that comes along it kind of makes music seem interesting again you know what i mean it's like someone rewrites a script all together and then we're still you know living with the implications of that sort of you know four years later so obviously something else will come along and sort of wipe all that away pretty soon
Thank you. It's a way more difficult when you've got more, if you like, past behind you, you know, more things to live up to or live down. It doesn't, it doesn't, you know, I mean, in, in this country people maybe uh, sort of think, oh, you've been around for ages, you know, you get taken for granted, but in, in Europe and maybe in America people tend to have a little bit more respect for people who've, you know, sort of, you know, established themselves and have, you know, done something, you know, something interesting in the past. You know, I, you know, I think in England maybe it's a little different, but, but you know, I'm not, probably not the right person to, to say that. Anyway. <laughs> Don't, we never sort of plan. It's like you know, you do records, you're into you're into what you do, into what you're doing at that time, and it just sort of feeds from there. And we just sort of we don't we don't sort of particularly plan ahead. It's like you know, more shows, more things. We want to we're trying to do more video stuff. I think we want to get back into that again, and sort of you know, doing long forms and video releases. We want to get more into that, which we've done. We haven't done since about '82, but you know, it kind of. Uh, um, I don't know. Maybe it's we think it's right to go back and sort of reassess that and get do a video video release. You know, not not promo stuff. Just you know, videos. Let's go.